Okay, in this video we'll add links to our page in Dreamweaver. So in Dreamweaver, in the visual view, I'm going to select some text. So I'm going to select this text right here. And when I select the text, you can see that I can make it bold, italic, and I can create a link. So I'm going to click hyperlink, and then it asks me to enter the links. Now you want to enter the full HTTP um, address, and I'll just link this to adobe.com for now. Hit the enter key, and that's going to give me a link. Notice the code changes here, ahref, and it gives me the link and the closing link tag. Uh, I haven't styled the links yet, so we probably want to style those at a later time, but that's how you would add a link here. To add a link uh, in the code view, let's say, for example, 99% uptime. We want to add a link to that. So if I hit Command T, it's going to open up the wrap tag option, and I can wrap this with the tag. I want to wrap it with the A tag, hit the enter key, and then it wraps it with the A tag. And all I have to do is add the href. And notice when I add href equals, I'm allowed to browse. And if I hit return on browse, um, that would browse to local files. But what I want to do is link to an HTML, um, an uh, actual web page. So again, HTTPS, colon, slash, slash, www.com. And that would work for that too. So now we have these links. Um, let's see, this one's blue. And then 99% uptime is blue as well. So we'd probably want to override that. We want to add a new style. So if I click inside of the design view, I'm going to add a selector. I want to add a selector for, there we go. Add a selector for A. And then the property that I want to add is color. And in this case, I want to make it white. And then the other property is the underline. Notice that it comes with a text decoration of underline. If we wanted to remove that, we could remove that. Um, but we can also make the font weight something different just so it stands out. I'll just make it bold. So now the links are bold. Okay, so that's adding those links there. Another thing that I want to do is in the footer section, I have some social icons here. So you'll see in the uh, footer, I have a div of class of content and I've added in um, this social class. And then, so we have a P tag that has the copyright and we have the div with the social icons and the div with the social icons has Facebook, uh, Twitter and LinkedIn. Um, those should be links, so we'll have to wrap those. So for example, if I select this, again, I'm going to hit Command-T. Actually, let's try this in the in the visual editor first. So if I click on this, um, that allows me to add a class. So yeah, uh, in the link, here we go. So HTTPS colon slash slash www.facebook. Dot com and then it would be something whatever the company is um, so you see that added the the link around that we can do the same for this so I'm clicking on this little box here so HTTPS slash slash www Twitter that adds that one and then we want to add one for LinkedIn so HTTPS LinkedIn Com. Just hitting enter. So that adds all those links. Um, and you can see when I move my cursor over them, you see that the cursor becomes the hand cursor. What we want to do is we want to separate this content from this. I'm going to put them apart so that the social will be on the, on the right and the copyright will be on the left. And there's a quick way to do that. We can target the footer content div and make it a uh, flex blocks. So to do that, um, I will target the footer and in the selectors, I'm going to add a new selector. I'm going to say footer div dot content. And then I'm going to add the display property display and I'm going to say flex. And when I do that, you can see that they separate. So 
This is now appearing on the right, this is on the left, so that just puts them across from each other. Probably want to add a little bit more space here. So um, for each of these, the images are in, um, we can add in spaces, like non-breaking spaces to space them apart. But um, to target this, again, I would need to target um, the social div and then the images inside. And then I would need to uh, add some padding to the right. The problem with that is that images are not block elements, they are inline elements. So the first thing I need to do is make the images that are in the social div block, inline block elements, then I can give them the, uh, the necessary padding that I want. So for the selector for this, the selector is going to start with the social div. And uh, don't have, notice that I'm not putting div.social, you can just put div uh, social and then uh, social image, that's what I'm targeting here. And then for the properties, um, it's going to be display. And then notice that the drop down comes down and I want the inline block. So now I can apply some other properties to, uh, to these images there, which is the padding on the right. So I'm going to add another property and padding dash right. And we'll say for now, let's say 12 pixels and see what that does. Now, so that adds the spacing that I need for that. And if you want to add more spacing than that, you can do that as well. So um, we've made changes to the HTML. We've made, made changes to the CSS. So if we look in the CSS file, we should see those new classes. So here's the social image uh, with the padding right. And then if you wanted to, um, um, well, we want to check this in the browser. So I'm going to go file, save all. And then I'm going to click to check in the browser. I'm going to check in Chrome. and in my Chrome browser. Let's take a look. So you'll see uh, all the changes that we made and the links. So that's adding links in Dreamweaver.